let's talk about now um, fears that Ukrainian woman has about marrying a Western man. And, and the reason I bring this up is because uh, I'm encouraging Western men that there's always fears. The, the woman has fears, the man has fears, and by talking about them, you can overcome the fear. But if you, nobody talks about it, mm -hmm. then you're afraid, and this hurts the relationship. And I'm encouraging them to talk about it, be open. So that's why I'm asking you, what do you think fears that the... Ukrainian woman would have Конечно, about marrying a Western man. Любая женщина боится, что за каким-то фасадом может скрываться странный человек, какой-то разные могут быть отклонения или я не знаю все что угодно, какой-то может неприемлемый характер. Вот любая женщина не хочет, чтобы она была использована. Every woman has fears and she's afraid that behind the good appearance there might be some, some bad person, some bad personality. An evil lurks yes. in the shadows. <laughs> and she's also afraid to be used and she's afraid to go abroad and be not um, secured enough. Uh, they are afraid not to be safe. Not to be safe in his yeah, country. Yeah. Maybe she's not safe if she goes to America, yes, Canada. Yes, okay. of course, because she is not a citizen. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, in most countries, a uh, person must uh, live uh, for five years. Mm -hmm. To get yes, citizenship? To get uh, mm -hmm. citizenship, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 men can be uh, good in Ukraine, can mm -hmm. be nice and kind, but in but in his country uh, he can uh, behave uh, in another. Uh, Maybe he's differently. Different. Differently, mm -hmm. yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, women are afraid of this, yes, because uh, uh, she is not a citizen. She is alone. Of course, she's alone. Alone, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. She has uh, no family, friends. No, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. She hasn't a good job, of course. Mm -hmm. She uh, first time she doesn't earn enough money. So she to depends. Survive. She, yeah, depends she depends on him. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, it depends of his behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, because I've read about uh, uh, stories when uh, uh, she. Uh, Girl uh, was depend of man, and mm -hmm. he behaved really angry. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a common child, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, she wanted to leave uh, this country, and uh, she couldn't tell take child with her, uh -huh. and she could live with him, yes. Uh -huh. So what are her rights? Because she's not from this country. Can she take her child and go? What, what is her right? In many countries, in law? Uh, she's afraid. Yes, in uh -huh. many countries, women uh, can't take child at home to Ukraine, mm -hmm. and of course, every uh, woman is afraid of this. She'll be afraid of losing her child, uh, like take uh, of her child being take take away uh -huh. by her husband. Like if she wanted to leave uh, right. America right. or right. England or whatever the country mm -hmm. is, Canada. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. afraid of the law, not knowing mm -hmm. what the law is and what her rights are. Mm -hmm. Maybe that makes yeah. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. right. And so probably should be afraid of missing her family and friends. It's missing them. Missing being them. lonely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Language. Yes, that's difficulties. A big... Difficulties with speaking. Yeah. Of course, language. But when you come inside country, you will speak after four months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like me, I don't learn English in uh, school. I learn French, and when I go to, uh, when I meet my husband, I uh, start to speak a little bit uh, alone. I like language. I try to learn Italy. I try to learn uh, Deutsch. I try to learn English. But when I start to speak with him, I speak speak quickly and uh, okay. I make mistakes, but. Uh, it's okay, you understand me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Arabic, you, and, uh, you, you became uh, yeah, fluent in Arabic. Yeah, of course, when I came, uh, Arabic is a very uh, uh, difficult language. Difficult, yes. yes. Very, very difficult. But when I go there, after four months, I start to understand. 
and after uh, maybe six months I start to speak and I, I uh, after so seven six months, years six I months speak so very well without uh, problem any people understand me even when I talk by telephone with my clients they understand me and they don't understand I'm not Arabic mm -hmm. when, I, when they come to me and they speak they see my uh, European face and they speak English with me and I answer Arabic they continue speaking English. They don't understand even uh, I, I speak with his language. Uh -huh. Like this. So language uh, maybe... It's not, and, uh, not a problem. Mm -hmm. The second, if she don't have, uh, she don't know the language yes. of this country, yes. it's a very big problem. Yes. Um, how a how, uh, how girl can speak to another people no, husband, yes, but yes, she, uh, she don't understand what uh, mm -hmm. he say, his friend, what uh, say his family, what, uh, what uh, I can his, empathize, uh, yes. because I've been in I Ukraine for I don't understand, mm -hmm, a month and a half, and yes. I don't speak Russian but Ruski, so yes. I can empathize, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's very difficult. I feel like uh, an alien on Mars a little bit, yes, yes. I can't speak, so it would be uh, difficult. It's very difficult, yes. Okay. Um, and uh, I think if a uh, woman uh, want a money, yes, right. and uh, she uh, married for money, oh, yes, okay. yeah. and when she uh, go to another country, uh, the man uh, poor, ah, yes, oh, poor. She's... And why? Where is my money? <laughs> okay, so you mean, you think maybe she might be, I want to make sure I'm understanding you correctly, maybe the man deceived her and says, oh yes, yes. back in America I have all this big house and car and money, and uh, she goes back and he's poor. Yes, yes, basically. yes. I think it's a, wow, why? Where is your money? Right. Or maybe um, we, uh, maybe women think that uh, uh, he have a big house or uh, many car. Yes, understand. Right, uh, right. When uh, she go to the another country and uh, she see the big house, uh, car, uh, horse. She and thinks. <laughs> she yes. think before, yes, she, before. And then she's afraid that when she goes, this is not the case. Yes, he doesn't it, have nice house, yes, nice yes, car. Yes. He depends, lied to her. It's, it, it depends what man says. Yes, yeah. if he lies, yeah, she, if, she might if be afraid. If he lies, yes, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very afraid. She yes. afraid is this. Liar. Mm -hmm. Liar, big liar, and. Because uh, it happened to you when you yes. first when you married a foreign yes. man. He was, it turned out to be a big lie. Yes. Uh -huh. So she's afraid that maybe he tell me one thing in Ukraine when he's here and he charm me mm -hmm. and be such a gentleman. Yes, he turn like this. And then quickly. he turn his face mm -hmm. when he goes to his country. He's a different person. Yes, he's different person. This is a fear. Mm -hmm. what? This is my fear. This but I think uh, fear for another woman maybe she get the uh, kids and I need to, not I am afraid of kids. Yes, mm -hmm. but I need to. Uh, uh, make relationship with this kid and she afraid to don't uh, be good mother for this kid because we are good mothers and we care our children. You mean maybe he'd not be a good maybe, father? Yes, mm -hmm. maybe he's not good father uh -huh. and maybe uh, his kids not take me like mother. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my fear also maybe. But I don't offend. My, I uh, uh, very uh, like this I can uh, maybe find uh, same words with kids. First and the biggest fear is that uh, when the men come here, uh, of course, for the first couple of days, we are trying to show <clears throat> our best, like who our we are. Polished side. Yeah, exactly. Polished, like yeah. I'm good at this and at that, and I'm, I'm gonna give you a good life. I'm gonna take, like, treat you like a princess. And what the men actually do on the first date, right? It's uh, flowers, candies, good places, good restaurants. Uh, everything mm -hmm. but then when the woman uh, take the man's side uh, she's moving to not even moving visiting him to in his country the man changed completely like upside down take off the mask Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde yeah talk, uh, take off the mask and here's the reality uh -huh, okay. there is a there is a station when the man abused the woman and uh, 
she doesn't know how to run away, she doesn't know where to go, she doesn't know how to protect herself. Because she's in a foreign country, doesn't speak the language, doesn't know the law. The, the main problem is the language. She cannot express herself. So right. if she asks for help someone, people will not understand her what she wants, definitely. And she doesn't know where to go. Either it's a, a police station or there is a, some group, uh, like social group, which is people already have been experienced uh, in this kind of situations. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the biggest fear. Right. And also the man who is... Uh, who taken his woman um, into his country, he should realize that life goes upside down. It's, everything is new. It's like a new page. One of the fears is that a woman never knows a man for 100%. She's afraid that um, he, he, here he is so kind and generous and there he would be a very um, despotic man and um, also she's afraid to be used in the uh, Western world. Because we hear a lot of news about sexual slavery and well we fear that a lot. A man has to be sincere and supportive all the time and be very honest and uh, a woman will just recognize that this is the truth that this person is real and the relations will will get normal and uh, the fears will just go away mm -hmm. and they need to talk they need to talk they need to talk from first if you don't talk about it, how you can overcome you, the fear? You will do, yes. You will always you, be afraid. If you are afraid to uh, go outside, you want to stay in, uh, in uh, Ukraine forever, You how you will know this man truly in uh, his uh, uh, situation at home? Mm -hmm. How he speaks with his parents? How he has, because it's a very uh, um, like uh, thin uh, thing. You need to little things. Yes. Uh, look at all like uh, yes. You need to for you understand this man uh, from all to, uh, all this man. You need to understand. So you, you need you, to see how is in mm -hmm. in his uh, family. So you're saying you're saying you suggest Ukrainian woman goes to his country. Just for him some Just time. She needs to visit. Say, like, visit, visit yes. To see how his life she is. She needs to visit. Yes. Mm -hmm. She needs to visit how his life, how he studies, how he speaks with his family, how. Mm -hmm. His family speak with him mm -hmm. because it's important. Mm -hmm. Maybe we will be in marriage and then I will have some surprises. Mm -hmm. uh, his view on uh, life, uh, family, and uh, we will be not united in this. And also, um, I can afraid um, maybe he will change his mind and he will leave me and he will be not faithful. This fears. Yeah, okay. like this. And uh, what about going to the other country, going to his country? Anything about that? If I will be sure in him, mm -hmm. we can go everywhere. Okay, no problem. <laughs> and your English is great, so you don't have this obstacle. Yeah. Uh, a lot of ladies ha don't have good English. They can so learn. They can learn. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. okay. So your fears are more around, maybe he's not who he says he is. Yeah. Maybe when you get to know him more. So maybe yeah. your fear is to, to get uh, married too quickly, maybe. Is that yeah, this, mm -hmm. this too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, it's uh, difficult to get a good job. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, it's true. Because, it's because true. our uh, uh, diploma, our education... It's not worth nothing. Yes. In America, Canada, yes, Australia. of course. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Again, she's dependent on him for everything, yes. for money, for love, for support, for... Yes, he is course. everything. She has no family, no friends. Yes. So maybe they talk about this. Maybe the husband says, you know, sweetie, maybe you'd like to come back to Ukraine every year to see your family and your friends. Okay, but yeah. you can talk here. But when you come there, uh -huh. you can have all any mm -hmm. guarantee. 
if uh, he uh, go to, the, to another country, he don't have a um, friend, he don't have a family. The so lady. The so lady, she go, uh -huh. uh, she go right. to the another country. Uh, so if uh, he, mm, he uh, haven't uh, people who uh, can help help him. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. yes, he's all alone in a uh, strange yes, country. Yes, the, Kanishna, of course, it's all, scary. All, 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 uh, very scary. Yes. Uh, is the man, um, I don't know how to say... Um, oh, if he abuses her and yes, hits yes. her? Well, well, uh, where I must go, right. I don't, I don't have friends, uh, and yes. what I must do, I and don't what are know, your rights? it's another country. I think she would be uh, afraid of uh, the abuse. Mm -hmm. uh, of being hit, of abused, being ab abused right, physically or emotionally. Uh, uh, altogether, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, she'll be afraid of uh, uh, treating on properly with no respect. Uh. I think there are pretty much fears mm -hmm. among Ukrainian women. For example, my friend Helen, if I may say this, sure. uh, she has a daughter. And she always uh, said to me like, Anya, how can you possibly go abroad and uh, uh, give birth for a child and then what? If it, if it uh, something will not work out. If something doesn't work and out. You end up in divorce or, yeah. or some problem. What happens mm -hmm. next? Mm -hmm. How can you leave your child there? Mm -hmm. Or will your husband allow you to bring your child home? Mm -hmm. So this is a very big fear among women mm -hmm. about child, mm -hmm. children. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes. And then, of course, there is... Uh, some uncertainty about a foreign country. Uh, some of my friends uh, went abroad. One girl lives in Norway and the other lives in Denmark. And they are very bored then <laughs> because the life is so different and they don't know anyone in those countries. And it doesn't matter that their husbands earn a lot of money. They just feel like they are no one there mm -hmm. and they don't know what to do they miss ukraine so much mm -hmm. they cry <laughs> there wow. so, so they don't feel happy mm -hmm. there even in those good countries mm -hmm. how long have they been there mm -hmm. in norway for example that friend uh about several months oh, it's about, just several months about half a year maybe mm -hmm. Uh, then one of the girls returned to Ukraine, mm -hmm. lived here for a couple of months, but then she decided again to go there. Go back, because she's go married. Go back. Yeah, she's married. To the Norwegian? Yeah. Married. Mm -hmm. I guess she's married, yes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's a difficult um, choice to make difficult between choice. joyful and familiar life here mm -hmm. And with, with tough economic situation with and tough lack economic of money, situation, yes. big time, and, uh, versus, versus good uh, mm -hmm. life there, mm -hmm. but boring. <laughs> boring and unhappy and missing home. Yes. Mm -hmm.